Okay, I'm at a uh, site. We're replacing the um, rollers, the bearings on the uh, roller grill. Let me show you the front side of this roller grill. Yeah, it's a APW roller grill. What happened was they, uh, the other service, they put, uh, the bearings were too big, too large for the, uh, rollers to fit in. So then that causes these rollers to pop out. Uh, I just put in, uh, four, four bearings. I got four more, four more left to do. So I'll show you, I'll show you all how to um, replace those bearings out, and then we're gonna put the chain guy back on. This side here is the side where the uh, the chain guide is not the um, the thing with these is they have alternating uh, sides, so. This section here is the front section, has eight rollers on the front section. This side over here has eight rollers also, but each set of rollers has a separate motor. This is the gear motor <clears throat> right here. You can see the sprocket fitting that uh, the chain and the chain guide, chain guides right here. Uh, sprocket fittings right here and this is the chain so this motor drives the chain which turns the uh, rollers and we have one one uh, drive motor on this side then we have another drive motor on the left side the other drive motors right here I have this all apart right now, so <clears throat> you'll see once we get it back together, I'll show it to you. Just stand by for a minute to uh, give me a mo moment to set everything up, and then I'll show you how these, these rollers come out and putting in the, uh, putting in the bearings and then reinserting the rollers. the dividers um, and what they do is they prevent the grease from getting uh, going through uh, along the rollers and dropping into the side uh, these are pretty good but um, I mean they do have to be cleaned often uh, by, the, by the, the store or the staff but um, if they're not cleaned regularly they'll they'll end up leaking grease into the uh, sides of the rollers. So, just wanted you to see this, this part. This is not the gear, the actual gear uh, bearings. This is just a divider, okay. Oh, sorry, sorry.
Okay, so look. Look here. See this bearings? These bearings are too, they're too big. See how they move? They shouldn't move around like that and you gotta pull them right out. So these, these four here, these eight were the wrong size, the wrong bearings. So we're gonna pull those all out, gonna clean up around here. And clean up around here. These bearings are okay. These on this side, they're all good. You can see how they fit. They fit right in the slot, see? They all have a little slot on them. These have different part numbers than the other ones. So the part number for these Part number for these is 217 That's the ones for the rollers. These two end rollers, they take a different, they, they take a different uh, bearing. This one on this side takes a different bearing. So this one, This is the part number for the one on the right side, okay? And it's always, this will always go to the center bearing for that side. So this is the center bearing uh, going f forward, going front, going towards the front. And that center bearing always gets this, this bearing. It's called the hot bearing. And the number on that is 217. Nine three four zero zero. The one on the other side, on the left side, that's a hot bearing also. But as you can see, it's different. It doesn't have, it doesn't have that catch as on the right side, right there. This one has the catch on the opposite side, on the inside. It's right up here, right up top. That's where the catch is. If they don't fit in those catches, then they're gonna spin, and then the rollers aren't gonna roll correctly. So, um, this is the part number for the one, the bearing on the left side. 217-934-01. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and clean these up put the new bearings in and then um, we'll start putting in the uh, the rollers
As you can see, I got those three rollers in, those three bearings in there. Now that last bearing, this first bearing here, and then this bearing here, those are going to be different than, than the rest of these in the middle. Okay, so it's hard to uh, picture it, but this one is is uh, that that part number that ends in 400 and the one on the opposite side same same end it's going to end that part number is going to end with 401 so just to kind of show you that's on this left side so the left back side and the right front side this one here they get the same uh, the same number um, and that also goes for the front left side which is the first one here so you see those you can see the difference right there the ones in the middle they all have that little catch um, facing out this one has the catch on the back side of the bearing so on this side you need the uh, catch facing facing in facing out away from the rollers on both the, the middle roller and the, and the first roller and the same thing here this one has the catch on the outside and that's a hot bearing and then this one is going to take the same the same bearing as the left side front once you get the uh, uh, part numbers down and uh, see how see how they look you'll be able to figure it out This one going on the front. Now all of those all of those bearings are in. Everything's good. Now I'm just going to uh, put these rollers back on and then uh, attach the chain and the chain guide and should be all set to go. Try and find a spot where I can let this sit.
can see the bloody Vikings. Bite, bite so on the end of that, on each end of the roller, you want to put them the way that they were facing when you took them out. So I usually let them soak in hot water and then I clean them up. It makes them a little more flexible to get onto the roller. And then you just go ahead and push them that into place. Once you got the roller in place, then you can pull back the uh, dividers, the grease connect, the grease seal. You can pull that back into place and it keeps your roller steady. Now you can see I have all of the rollers are all in place. See how they're all in place now? They all have the uh, proper bearings on them and the, uh, the, the grease bearings are also on too. Those were the, uh, the last portion that I was showing you. Um, <clears throat> right now um, I wanted to show you as far as getting the chain on. This chain, as you can see, it fits around here and it fits into all the, each of the sprockets on the uh, unit, on the rollers. So, and then it comes down and then it will attach to this bottom roller and this tension tensioner. So I wanted to show you, you do need it to have a uh, Allen screw. It has an Allen screw, so you need an Allen wrench to loosen the Allen wrench on there, and then it pulls right off. The Allen wrench pulls, Allen screw pulls right off, and you'll be able to fit it in just like that, and then it'll it'll go back in place onto the tensioner um, and then this levels off everything up here as far as makes it even onto the rollers and then it'll it'll turn uh, once once I get it plugged in and everything but um, I just wanted to show you that I'm gonna take it back off right now because I want I have to put the uh, chain the chain guide over the top of this and I will show you that in a few minutes uh, as far as that chain guy goes, you want to go in with the top first. Go in with top first and then go up and then that will come down onto your onto your um, screws. The, the screws that are going to hold it in. Um, I'm gonna have to put it down right now because I need to use both hands, but I'll show you So just to show you this is the wave guide All right, I don't have the uh, bottom sprocket attached yet because I have to get this wave um, Chain guide plate Have to get that assembled on there and as you can see there's two screws that are gonna go on that it goes into one here one here okay and what you want is you want it to have a loose fit because this guides the chain okay and this is this piece right here that I'm pulling on this is a little tool that they have assembled to this bracket so what it is is it's to let you know that you got your chain uh, in the right place so I don't know if you can see it, but as you can see, you can see like when I push it up, it goes down, it goes in. When I loosen it, when I let it go, it goes out. See there? So that's what you want. You want that to be able to move freely. And then once you got that all set, you can pull this, this tool out. So you can pull that out and it screws back 
into the bracket right here but a lot of times um, the screws get lost so if they are and and you don't have the screw to secure that go ahead and pull it out and just sit it down on the inside of the panel here so that it does not touching any of these any of this upper area right here okay so right now I'm gonna go ahead and get this assembled get the chain sprocket back on and then we'll be ready to go um, I'll put the machine back in place and and we'll see that it um, is working correctly all right thank you now we have this side on I have the uh, sprocket on chain is attached to the sprocket on the other side on the right hand side of this unit there is another bracket right here this bracket I just put that on and you'll want to tighten those two two nuts right there and then this also has after I get the heaters put in this also goes on the top of this bracket right up here I'll show you that after I get done but I'm gonna do that now and then I'll be right back now I will be uh, installing the heaters in each of those um, those rollers Could show you these are the heating elements that I just put in they're gonna screw down right there I'm gonna put screws in all of those and set those in I just want you to see that they come out on the other side here okay like that I'll be able to turn them and once I get them turned and get them all put in they'll all be facing down the right way and then we'll be getting this back together. Okay, this is one another thing I want to show you here. Got all of the uh, heaters are in. And I just want you to see that these heaters all are connected in series. So I just make sure that before you do anything, make sure you have all of these uh, wires connected to the terminals. Um, just give them a little tug, make sure they're not loose or anything. So you don't, there's not much protection between this and the frame. So sometimes you run into these where they touch the um, the frame and then they'll they'll trip they'll trip the breaker. And cause cause damages or you know hopefully not um, hurt someone that may be working around it so you want to make sure that all of your connections are good in there okay you want to make sure that these are these wires are clear of this chain because if they're not if they're pushed in like that this this chain will eventually cut through this wire and short out so we have that side all set next we're going on this side Let's see if I can get See that side there. Um, show you. Let me show you where the holes line up. Okay. 
trying to do this one handed so bear with me for a minute okay right there see uh, where the holes line up that's where you want to go in and uh, I'll have to pause for a minute just to get these two screws in you got one, one screw here right here the other screw goes right here so give me one second Okay, as you can see here, I have the, I have that top bracket is on. So now I want to make sure, again, that we have the heater wires in place correctly and secure. Forgive me if I'm uh, moving around a little bit, but I'm doing it doing this all one-handed right now but we'll be all set so there we go that's the right side I'm gonna place the panels on um, everything looks looks okay from here on the right side I'll put the panel on there and then on the left side I'm gonna put the panel on there and um, bring it back over to the uh, behind the counter and everything should be working fine so we'll be right back as soon as I get that all together okay as you guys can see these the rollers are turning the back end rollers they may need some uh, adjusting later but for the most part it's the front the front rollers so now they are all turning and that'll be it for our APW Wyatt roller grill um, gear change out. I hope uh, I hope you guys got something out of this. Uh, if you can, please uh, like and subscribe to this channel and share it with others. I thank you all for watching and God bless. Take care.